Rothman Tech Tips. I'm here with Bill Adler, moderator of the Cleveland Park Listserv. Bill, thanks for coming on the program today. Oh, my pleasure. I was hoping you could educate me, educate the audience on a listserv. I keep telling my friends how great the Cleveland Park Listserv, and they always say, what is a listserv? So please educate me. A listserv is basically an email list that you interact with. So you get information from other people, and you also post questions and get answers to your questions. Okay, and it's all based off everyone's emails and people who were on the list, they're on the listserv. It's very old tech, it's email based. Nothing's wrong with old tech. As long as it's tech, I like it. So it I noticed that we use the Yahoo platform. Why Yahoo and, and, and what is Yahoo doing as far as the, the listserv? Well, interesting about Yahoo, and Yahoo was formerly one list which was formerly eGroup. So Yahoo has consumed previous list servers, and there are others around there, around, the, around the, the internet, but Yahoo's platform works really well for us. And I've actually looked at some others, um, and I found that Yahoo has enough features and enough simplicity okay. to make it very accessible and very usable. We have list members who are in their 20s and list members who are in their 80s. Oh, wow. So I can't think of very many technologies and very many platforms that span over half a century of ages. Right, and I love simplicity and technology. So that's why I guess your wide age range can really understand it. Now you said you looked at other platforms. Who else does listservs? If someone else was looking to, to build one, who else, other than Yahoo, who else could they go to for something like that? Well, I've, uh, there, there's Google Groups. Okay. Uh, there's an organization called Big Tent, and they have strengths and weaknesses, of course. And one of the things that we like, again, about Yahoo Groups, and I like about Yahoo Groups, is it's really easy to use and it doesn't try to do everything. Got it. It's also something, I mean, at some point we thought about switching to another platform because I love newer. Sure, I love of course. Newer. Yeah. I love the Latest shiny. and greatest. I love the shiny <laughs> stuff. Um, and then I thought, well, if we switch, there are going to be at least 6,000 out of our 12,000 members who are going to go, whoa, what's happening? <laughs> Got so it. So stick with what works. Okay. So Cleveland Park, it's in Washington, D.C. You moderate the listserv. You said how many? 12,000 people? There are 12,000 people in the greater northwest area in Washington, D.C. on this listserv. Wow. So if someone was to join the listserv, what type of things are they going to be seeing on there? Or, you know, just all sorts of things, but just give us a few examples. Well, if you need a plumber, you okay. a plumber. I mean, there's nothing nothing more urgent than a plumber needed at 12 o'clock in, in the morning on uh -huh. Sunday night. Um, lost pets, let's see about lost oh, pets. Oh, excellent. Right now, we're having a heated debate about new zoning changes. In saw Washington. that, I saw that. Very important. So it's change. really this open discussion, people seeking advice, people needing assistance from people in their neighborhood, and it really builds collaboration between people in the environment. That's right. And one thing we do that is, I guess, our special sauce uh -huh. is we moderate every message. So if somebody wants to call somebody else a bad name, oh, that's, yeah. not gonna, that's not going to go gotcha. through. Um, if somebody posts a question that was recently answered, uh, the, the moderators, my wife and myself, uh -huh. will answer the question off list for that person. So we try to keep it uncluttered. We try to keep it usable. Uh, we certainly keep it spam free. Excellent. No, and it's been very helpful to me. I'm new to Cleveland Park and the listserv has been a great way for me to just get acclimated with, with the area. So, I'm glad to hear that. Oh, hey, it's great. It's, you know, thank you for moderating it. And Zach, before we let you go, I do an I don't cook portion <laughs> of the vlog here. You're the Cleveland Park guy. What is your favorite restaurant here in Cleveland Park? Well, before I tell you my favorite restaurant, I will say that my favorite cooking appliance is the telephone. Okay, <laughs> nice. Very nice. So uh, I don't cook, so I use the telephone yeah, too. Uh, Sarisa, an Italian restaurant on Connecticut Avenue, right by the Metro. Oh. Wonderful home-cooked meals, and you feel like you're in somebody's home. Oh, I mean, wow. And, and what's your favorite dish there? Um, I love the veal ravioli. Okay. I die for the veal ravioli. So the veal ravioli at Ceriso. Ceriso, yes. Excellent. Bill, thank you very much for coming on the program. My pleasure. This is Rothman Tech Tips.